this video we are going to look into how you can actually assign a container on an export solid to another export solid like this you will be able actually to have like a child relation between these elements and being able to display views and content from one into the shop drawing of the other this will allow you to have this kind of result where we have on one end an axonometry view from the export solid with here if we zoom in at the post base here we see an actual container we will also look into our result how this container could actually display some information about them for example um, its production number and on the right hand side of the page we have actually information from that uh, container with the different views and axonometry the first thing that you would need is setting an export solid and a container if we check this one he already has a view that already has some presets i'm just going here to activate attributes just to make sure that we have the label on the container i was mentioning earlier and here if we then check the container itself it has of course a content and also has some views but we will see that the setting of the container itself here it's irrelevant what matters is that this element actually has already views assigned the first thing that you want to do now is simply selecting the export to it and changing in its content in order to add this container and others you are not limited to one only if here directly we go in the layout file setting which is basically the same as the export solid settings we will see that here we have a warning container detected without production number this is simply because in order for you to track the views in the export solid when you assign those we actually rely on the name of export solid and the production number of containers so here the first thing that we want to do is of course running a container list production number so now we do have a production number assigned and now that this is done if we go back here to the export solid setting we will see that now we have views new views available we can simply drag them at the location needed small tips here as you can see one of my view is actually bigger than the other this is something that is available for quite some time now but some of you may not be aware you can actually stretch your views to take more than one set space so here now that we have this we are going to use the information that we we've discussed in the other video uh, name export solid and container visibility which describe and explain the use of this extra tab so here we are just changed the visibility of that view in order to display information coming from the scene so we want to have like the the timbers foundation uh, some export tools this was a scene where we had actually the uh, containers assigned to uh, grid and all the hardwares if we check the content of this one we will simply here make sure to check for example the hardware scene here if we don't change here anything about the uh, the current setting we will have an issue but it's just for you to be able to recognize what the issue is and how to actually set and sort it one other thing that i would like to do before moving forward is as i mentioned i would like this element to display its production number in the view so as you know you can change here in the attribute display setting the setting for all elements so this is a global setting for the here export solid so it's going to all my elements that are not set will display cross-section and names I could here remove that because I just want to have one single element displaying information in this example but we are going to check out one thing that allows you to choose which element will display attributes when others are actually eligible to do so 
So here, let's select the ones that we would like to change and go to Modify, Option, and Attribute Display. And here for the Export Solid, I'm just going to release it from the global setting and ask this guy to show con uh, container list apply and OK. Now that this is done, I'm going to keep this one active because this is how you can actually set which element will display attributes. When you export ex any type of export, when you have active element before you run the export, you will be asked an extra question at the time of the export, asking you if only the active element should display the attributes. So here, if we export, it's going to ask us which one should be exported, this one with the left click and right click to confirm. So here you see that at the bottom it says export attribute only for active elements. So we can simply say yes. So here that would be the result. But as I said, here there is a missing setting. Because here the thing is to know about the the way this is exported is we actually use the volume of the container, its views, to display others. So here we can actually see that everything that we see is actually because it's part of the parent content. But this is not here what we wanted. We wanted to focus only on what belong to that container one, which here, by the way, you see that attributes return on top. So how can we actually focus only what's inside? Simply by changing one single option in these child views, you will simply select the cut option, meaning that the content of the view is limited only to what is fully within the volume of that container or export solid. And here, of course, we are talking about the volume of the child and not of the parent one. If we run the export, this guy, here again, we will be asked about the attribute. Just say yes to the question. And now we have exactly the result we were looking for. We have an overall drawing that shows you the location of specific detail or connections. So you could have, again, this on several locations, on the, on the views, on different views, up to you. And here we have the details for that specific connection.